My name is Pete Spurrier. I run Blacksmith Books, which is a Hong Kong-based publishing house. Uh, we put out books mostly about um, Hong Kong-related non-fiction. So it's a um, biography of interesting people who've grown up here. It's uh, books about Hong Kong travel, uh, also um, culture, uh, a little bit of the mainland, a little bit of Southeast Asia, Taiwan, uh, but mostly based in Hong Kong. For maybe 12 years now, I started this about 12 years ago, um, I used to publish a magazine uh, until 2003 and then we had a lot of contributors to the magazine who wanted to write things so I thought well I can help them put their books out and I tried that and the first three books worked very well so I carried on uh, and I thought I would have to look for manuscripts after a while but from day one people started sending them in um, so all I've had to do since then is just go through the manuscripts, find the ones that are relevant to Hong Kong uh, non-fiction and publish them and things seem to work. I've lived here since 23 years ago now. Yes, uh, that seems like a long time, doesn't it? Uh, it went very fast. Uh, I came here as a backpacker in 1993. I followed the Silk Road from London through Europe and the Middle East and Central Asia and China to China. Then I ran out of money. And then I heard that Hong Kong was British then, so I thought I wouldn't need a work visa to get a job. So I came here and it was true. So um, I got here in September in 93 and on the first day I got three job offers um, so I, I said yes to them all uh, and I carried on working um, for a month in order to make enough money to go back home but then I, I quite liked it so I stayed I thought I'll, another month then another month then another month and now it's 23 years yeah. but it's good it's, it's nice if you can find a place that suits you and Hong Kong suits me quite well so I feel quite lucky um, I find we have to focus on non-fiction because it's more reliable. Uh, people buy more non-fiction uh, based on the subject matter. Uh, if if um, um, people are interested in Chinese culture, Hong Kong subjects, they will buy these books no matter who writes them. They don't really care about the author's name. Whereas with fiction, it's more based on fame. You know, if they've heard of this name in a newspaper review or whatever, they'll buy the book. And if they haven't, they won't. So we find selling locally written fiction is challenging so we, we keep that down to a few books a year and we have to focus on non-fiction because that's what really is more uh, steady. Uh, we publish 12 books a year usually, one per month, um, three fiction and nine non-fiction usually. Yeah. Uh, I, I wish we could publish more. Uh, we get so many interesting manuscripts sent in to us which I'm very grateful for um, but 12 a year is about as many as we can handle to promote uh, every year. Uh, if we publish more than that, which we did a few times in the past, then you don't have enough time left over to promote the books because you need to make sure that you do as best a job you can with promotion in different countries around the world, newspapers, radio, TV stations and all these things. Uh, if you rush yourself with too many books, then you don't make enough, uh, you don't make the best of each one. So we keep it down to 12 a year uh, and that's about right. That's the only book. Probably it should be, shouldn't it? We've, we've, got, we've got a few books we've reprinted half a dozen times. Um, these, the illustrated books about Hong Kong do very well. They, these carry on selling. Um, books also by local authors writing in English always do well. So um, Jason, um, uh, we've published three books by him. They've sold very well. Uh, they carry on selling. Uh, I hope he carries on writing. Uh, cares on writing more of them. Uh, likewise, books by Dr. Feng Chi Shun, uh, for instance, this one. Um, we keep reprinting because it seems that people are really interested in Hong Kong stories coming from Hong Kong people in English because there aren't many of these people doing that. It's, it's, um, if you're a local writer, you will normally write in Chinese. It makes more sense, it's easier, you've got a larger local market. Um, so for the ones who actually do write in English, they find quite a market because um, the people here, living here, expats, say, or tourists, they want to know about local culture from a local person. There aren't many books uh, uh, written by them, so uh, when we do publish them, they always do well. So I really encourage more local writers to write in English. I, I would like to encourage them to do it more often and um, send, them, send them in to me. <laughs> It's difficult, yeah, yeah, and it's lucky that we did get overseas distribution because sometimes uh, one market isn't enough for you. Um, so for our first two years, we were just selling books only in Hong Kong, and we were lucky that the books worked 
then after that, you know, a distributor, uh, some bookshops in Singapore were interested in Malaysia, then the US and UK, uh, so things are easier now. Um, but still, you don't know uh, with book selling, it's all very speculative. You need to go through the whole process of conceptualizing a book, editing, designing, printing it, writing it, uh, then get it into the shops and sometimes it doesn't find a readership even though you think it's going to be a winner. It isn't always. Um, so that's why uh, we, we are lucky to have different readers in different parts of the world who are interested in these things. Um, generally things work, not every time, but generally. Uh, but this uh, risk of publishing um, does keep it interesting. Yeah, you never know uh, if you might get a breakout success with a book, anything is possible. Yeah, I mean, I mean I'm, I'm happy I don't have to give up. At the moment it works, not every year, not every month of the year is good, but generally over the year it makes enough money to keep it going and I, I, I feel like I'm quite lucky to work in this field because not many other people do. Um, if I wasn't doing these English language books about Hong Kong, half of them wouldn't get published. So I feel like I'm adding to the world's store of knowledge about Hong Kong in a way, which uh, makes me feel good. Uh, so even if, um, and even when business conditions are tough, I, I still enjoy it. Um, in the English language book publishing industry in Hong Kong, it can sometimes feel a bit lonely because uh, there aren't many people doing it. So it's very nice to travel to book fairs overseas, chat to people in the same trade. We find we have the same issues, the same problems, the same um, knowledge. Uh, it's nice to share that knowledge. So. I enjoy doing that.